All right, welcome back to Fat Guy Fitness. Glad to see you. So you made it through the first video. It's in. We're into our second day. Didn't have a whole lot happen yesterday, but I did give you a homework assignment. That homework assignment was a simple one, and most of you probably didn't do it. And all I'm going to say about that is you really need to do the things that we talk about, right? Um, and I'll get into that a little bit more, but let's talk first off about what the homework assignment was. The homework assignment was to see your doctor. Now, I know that you didn't see your doctor in a day. There's just about no doctor that you're going to be able to get an appointment that day, unless it's an emergency. And of course, this isn't an emergency. It's important. We need to get started, but uh, not an emergency. Um, but some things that I want you to talk about uh, with your doctor um, is your cholesterol number and get a stress, a stress test. Here again, like I said yesterday, sort of like just you're getting ready to take your car on a long trip, let the doctor get underneath the hood. But more importantly, your cholesterol numbers and the stress test, seeing where you're at with your heart, getting your resting heart rate and all that other good stuff, um, that's gonna give us a, a baseline. But not so much a baseline, more like a peak. Baseline in the fact that um, we're at our lowest point of fitness right now, but a peak as in cholesterol um, and all that other, and weight, body fat, more importantly, your BMI, your body fat index is higher now. It's, it's the peak. It's, it's the highest it's ever going to be ever again if you stick to this. And I know that's scary. Don't let it scare you. First off, we're going to have fun. It's very doable. It's very, very doable. Um, but I'm going to tell you how you, we got to go about it. And more importantly, you need to understand what we're up against. Okay, so let's get right into things. Um, first off, why do we eat? Okay, obvious answer, we eat to sustain life. Okay, but there are other reasons that we eat. Um, we may eat because we're bored. That's me. I get bored and uh, it pops into my head, hey, I'd like uh, pizza. Let's order pizza. Um, you might eat because that's how you handle stress. Here again, that's a me thing, right? And what happens? So let's talk about, so we're, we're one day into this. So you and I talked yesterday. It's our next day, right? And uh, so you've had a day to, to be thinking about this. And I told you yesterday, Einstein's uh, definition of insanity is doing the same thing. So you know, right? So let's talk about how you got here. Uh, you've been thinking for a while, I, I need to lose some weight, I want to diet, I'll, I'm going to do it when the new year comes, the new year's here. You've you've got yourself motivated to the point where you s started seeking out videos like this one, and so we're here, we're here. And you're at that point, you're, you're motivated enough that you're searching, we got to keep you going, we got to keep you going. Understand this, right now, you feel the worst you will feel for the rest of your life if you stick to this. Now, that is scary. Oh my God, I gotta stick to it, something I gotta do forever. No, no, I'm gonna show you how easy it is. I'm gonna show you how very, very easy it is. And yet, I'm gonna show you that all of the things that are happening in the world today that are trying to trip you up. And they've tripped us, they've tripped me up, they've tripped you up, they've tripped us all up, they trip off over 70% of Americans because that's their intention. But once we identify that, once we realize that is their intention, they're not out for your good, right? I am going to help you out. We're going to help each other out, but they're not. They're just out for your money, and we're going to get into that, okay? Uh, so why do we, I talked about, it's, it's uh, we need it to sustain life. But so let's understand how that happens. What, what makes us decide it's time to eat? Well, I said, first off, stress and boredom are things. Habit is another thing. Now, these three things, stress, boredom, and habit, are just, it, it, they're all a habit, really. It's the way we've programmed ourselves. We've programmed ourselves, through the help of advertisement, to eat when certain things happen. Triggers, right? I'm bored, you know, hey, grab a Snickers bar right? Snickers satisfies. I'm stressed out, right? Hey, have a Coke and a smile, right? Um, it's out there. It's been subcognitively programmed into our brains. St 
stuff stresses us out. We want sort of an escape, right? And there are certain things that we do that aren't healthy for us that uh, become that escape for us. Smoking, tobacco, stuff like that is one of them, and then eating. Now, you will find it very, very hard to find literature that will tell you this. Lord knows, I love to read. I've sought it out. Maybe one of these days I'll show you all the books that I've read on all of this stuff. But uh, you will find it very, very hard to believe, uh, define anything that will tell you this fact. I'm going to, Steve Nemeth, right now, I'm going to tell you this is a fact. Food is addictive. It's addictive. And I don't just mean because you have to eat to sustain life. I mean it is addictive like nicotine, like drugs, right? It is addictive. How is it addictive? Well, your brain right its major its main purpose its number its pro, its top priority is to sustain life sustain life so your brain actually has your body do two different things one when it feels like hey it's time for some energy we need some energy right um, so let's go out. Let's, uh, we need some fuel, more importantly, not so much energy. We need fuel. We need to fuel the body, right? So the brain makes you hungry, right? It sends out signals to the body, to, more importantly, to the old stomach, to the, you know, to the, your cognitive processors and says, hey, we're hungry. Let's eat, right? And sometimes it does it subtly and because life is so busy, uh, you don't necessarily notice it right away. And so your your brain says, hey, I, I'm in charge. I told you I want fuel. You're ignoring So then it really kicks it into overdrive. And then you're like, wow, I'm hungry. To the point where you may actually become hangry. Happens to me, right? Uh, my brain just says, hey, you know what? Enough of all this other stuff. I either want a distraction or whatever, or it's just you haven't fueled me in a long time. So I now I'm hangry, right? And so it, it, you have to you you have to uh, address that need. And, and how what do we do? We okay because now we can't really think about much else. It's a pressing thing, right? We're we're more focused on that than we want to be. So we we're going to just succumb to the urge. What's quick? What's here? What can I do? Right? Do I order a pizza? Do I go get a some Taco Bell? Whatever. We grab the quick and easy, and the processed foods and the cheese and the fats and the calories. It, it just they're there, right? And they're there for a reason. Why do we crave these things? Well, our bodies really weren't made for the modern world. We weren't made so that everything could uh, take care of us. We weren't made to have a 7-Eleven and a Wendy's on every corner, right? We evolved through a time period when you had to seek out and hunt and, and, and gather your food, and it wasn't always readily available. So our bodies do certain things. One, the cravings, right? We crave high calories, why? Well, back in the days when we were trying to survive, our ancestors were trying to survive, you sometimes had to get in and get out. So I don't want to be making a lot of trips in to get calories. I want the largest calories I could possibly get in so I can get in in one trip, max out on the calories, get out of there, and be safe, sustain life. That's what the brain's trying to do. The other thing the brain does to, to try to sustain life is when you maximize those calories, life is good, right? Well, the body doesn't want to just give them up. It's not going to take them in and say, hey, well, you know what? It's more than what I need. I'm just going to get rid of it and, you know, through the waste system. No, instead it decides, hey, good thing, man. We got extra calories. Now I can store this extra energy, future energy, as fat, right? In case of an emergency, in case there's a, a, a dry spell where we can't find food, well, we'll have the fat to sustain us, right? It's all about sustaining life. So our bodies in today's modern world help us uh, to, to, to be where we're at. We need to understand that. You need to understand that. Why is, why is understanding that important? How do you beat that? Well, you beat that by getting yourself on a schedule, 
right? Um, and I'm going to encourage you, today's, today's homework assignment, I'm going to give it to you a little early here, today's homework assignment is to get yourself a book so that you can start writing down like the date and keeping track of um, what you eat, when you eat it, uh, what time you ate, why you ate. Oh my God, Steve, what is the matter with you? I don't want to do all of that because I'm lazy. Well, you're not going to admit you're lazy first off. None of us want to admit we're lazy. But oh, by the way, here's the sad truth that nobody ever tells you. You know, most scientists and stuff won't even tell you this, but I'm going to tell you this. We're all inherently lazy. Why? Because it's what the brain does to our bodies, right? Our brain wants us to gather as much fuel as possible at one time, high calories. It wants us to store it as fat. And now I went through all the effort to get these calories. I went through all of the effort to store these calories. The last thing I want you to do is to just burn all of these calories recklessly right? So I'm going to make you lazy. I'm going to make you lethargic. So classic example, think about Thanksgiving dinner, man. And they can talk about it's cortisol. It's all this other stuff. It's the body's like, Hey, bonus, man, look what you did for me. You went out and got all of this, ca all these calories were stuffed, right? Mission accomplished. The last thing your body wants to do when the tank is full is to get out on the highway and run at max, right? It doesn't. It wants you to lay down, relax, and sleep. Just sleep. The body loves sleep. The body, your body loves sleep. You don't give it enough sleep. Most of us don't. And that, oh, by the way, is part of the reason why we're not as healthy as we are and we have a quote-unquote weight loss problem. Here again, I'm, I'm going to mention, or a weight problem, I'm going to mention weight as infrequently as possible because really the weight isn't the problem. It's the fat and it's being un unhealthy. Now, well, the body stores fat in case of emergency, so how bad can fat be? Fat can be very bad. Because your body stores it. Now, it, here's another classic example of how the body works. Uh, men and women. Why do men and women store fat differently? Men and women store fat differently because men tend to have a different type of activity and a different activity level than women. And therefore, we store fat where it's easiest for us to carry it. And the same is true for women. So... Um, I don't want to get into a big sexist argument about it or anything like that. Uh, but traditionally, you know, that is kind of how we've evolved to where we're at today. So anyway, enough about that. So that is why you eat bad stuff. We eat bad stuff because it's high in calories. The body wants to get as many calories as it possibly can at a time. And then um, it, we don't burn enough calories because once the body has gotten the calories, it wants us not to burn them. Now, here's another interesting fact, okay? This is why there's going to be two things that are very important. Obviously, diet and obviously exercise, right? And I'm not, I don't want you to get scared. Oh my God, Steve, I, I, you want me to take, no, I'm going to show you how to how to do this. I'm going to show you how to take the notes. It doesn't have to be a big one. Small one's actually better. Something that you can carry on. Yeah? We're going to take the notes. Just simple little stuff. You know, I ate at two o'clock. I had you know, a potato, whatever, right? Uh, and, and the reason I ate was it was time for me to eat or I ate because I just was hungry and I couldn't concentrate or whatever, right? We're going to take notes on that stuff because we need to figure out, we need to plan our eating. It needs to be spaced out. We need to get to a point where we're no longer craving things. Now, that part won't really be easy because your body, much like all of us, doesn't like change it freaks the f it freaks out it freaks the hell out uh and so it's it, it's going to try to do some weird stuff at first the key is to know that it's going to happen don't let it get you down we'll get through it to me what makes things easy is when we understand that it's going to happen then we can get through it so i see i'm starting to get a little bit uh short here on time. I, like I said before, I want to try to keep these short because I don't want you to get not motivated. I, this is a good thing. It's a good thing. Now, I'm going to share a little success with you today. The fact that we're thinking about getting healthier, right? You know the basics, right? And I'll give you the real quick formula. I told you uh, weight loss is easy. It, it really, really is. Um, why is weight loss easy? Well, the formula for weight loss is super simple. Take in less calories, 
than you burn in a day, right? So I bring that up for just a, a simple reason. We're going to get more and more in depth into diet. We're going to start getting into exercise and all that other stuff. Uh, so my success today was two things that have become a habit for me. Uh, cupcakes, right? Love cupcakes in the morning around nine o'clock or a morning break, usually a Diet Coke. Makes sense, Diet Coke and, a cup, and two cupcakes. But that's what I usually do. Didn't do it today. Yay me. Now, you need some successes like that too, right? There is something you probably usually do when it comes to food and bad habits. Think about what that is and try to avoid that tomorrow. Again, baby steps. We're not going to have to make any big sweeping state changes. Think about it for me too this morning because, oh, by the way, I was craving it, right? My body's used to it. Give me what I want. It's those calories. I'm anticipating those. I'm expecting those. Well, you know what? No, they're empty calories. They're not good calories. And they're what's helped contribute to 323 pounds, right? That's got to go. And the other thing is, not uh, not by design, but I ended up uh, walking quite a bit today because I had to drop my car off uh, several, you know, uh, uh, just a ways from my house. So very, very, uh, very good walk for me today. Those are my two successes. Einstein's theory of insanity, doing the same thing, expecting change. You've got to change what you're doing. You've got to change your eating habits, and we're going to get through that, but there's things that you know that you're eating that are bad, right? So stop eating them. Figure out what you're going to eat instead. Understand why you're eating them, right? I started eating the darn cupcakes because I was usually stressed out at that time. What I do for a living, uh, you know, I, I get out of a meeting about 8.30ish, and I'm usually like, just I want to let somebody have it. So that's how I got started eating them. And then it becomes a habit, right? And then, so you got to break that habit. So try to uh, try to get up, be a little bit more mobile. Don't get anything crazy. I'm not talking about running. I'm not talking about any of that stuff. Just simple little stuff. Get up, walk around the house. You find yourself sitting down, ask yourself why you're sitting down. Well, Steve, I'm sitting down because I'm watching television. Uh, Steve, I'm sitting down because I'm reading or whatever. That's great. You've got to make being healthy a priority. And when you know that, just get up. Do a little bit of walking around. I love you guys. We're going to get through this. It, it, it's not even getting through this. This is We're changing our lives. We're changing our lives to a healthier lifestyle. It's going to be awesome. You're going to love it. People are going to give you compliments. You're going to be happy you did it. Stick in there. Make the doctor's appointment. Find out the cholesterol, get the stress test, get yourself a notebook, and I'll see you tomorrow.